You read that right. This is not clickbait. I have the entire body cam footage. Sheriff Craig Owens of Cobb County actually called his deputies because Burger King didn't give it to him his way. This is an actual real story. And of course, it's taking place in Cobb County, the third most populous county in Georgia next to Fulton County. Cash Money G. Fanny Willis is Fulton County. I just have a question. Georgia, what the hell is going on over there? This is a sincere question. It just seems like every single day is a volcanic disaster of corruption, of egregious misconduct, of officials, authorities, law enforcement. Remember Judge Peterson who attacked a security guard at a nightclub and she got removed? You've got the YSL Rico case, which is a disaster in itself, which is the longest court case in the history of Georgia, not just Fulton County. You've got the sham indictment launched by Fannie Cash Money G, who's now facing disqualification again in an appellate court. And most likely they will dismiss all charges, just like they dismissed Letitia Big Shame James's fake sham trial, Jack Smith, and everything else is going to be dismissed, including the hush money trial. That's going to be dismissed too. Georgia, what is going on with you guys? I just really don't know. I mean, I'm not naive. I'm not, uh, you know, and I'm also not a cynic. I understand there's always going to be any system or process that you inject human beings. I know there's going to be some foul ups. There's going to be some greed. There's going to be some, you know, uh, things that are not on the up and up and people are going to take advantage of their position of power. I understand it, but this is getting out of control. You're calling the cops because Burger King didn't get your order right. And the employees locked themselves in fear in the store when deputies approached. I'm at my wit's end with you, Georgia. I just don't get it. Let's watch the clip. This is the same open records request that Fannie Willis keeps denying Ashley Virtue. Taxpayers pay for this. We deserve this. I need is the hey, owner Sheriff name Pringle. or whoever owned this damn facility or the manager. Okay. We ordered okay. something, the food was wrong. We said, hey, can we fix it right? The guy said, well, we ordered. I said, that's not what we ordered. What are we doing? I said, well, can I get my no? I said, well, Perfect. can you give me a manager name Perfect. or owner name so I can call them? That's all I need. Okay, sir. I don't need no damn money back no more. I just need to find out who owned this place so I can do a physical complaint to complain. Okay, sir. Okay. That's all right. So you can do Sheriff wants the name of the manager or the owner so he can just file a complaint. That's all. The manager and the owner. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, it may be an assistant manager here now, but I don't know who he is, but he's just straight up ads. I'll get all the names I can. Okay. Sure. He just wants the names, manager, owner, so he can file a complaint. Oh, no big deal. There you go. How are you? Um, who's the oh. manager on duty? That would be him. You a manager or assistant manager? I'm the assistant.
I would too. All right. Well, that this was all crazy. I needed. Thank you for your time. Have a good, Have a good day. Kmart after that. Yeah, I said old Kmart you were talking about, right? Oh, absolutely. So, it's an assistant manager working right now. He didn't want to give his last name, but his name was the man. The, did we get the manager's name? Yeah, the manager is That's her phone number. Okay. And the people that own this place is Okay, that's all I need. All right, sir. Appreciate you, man. Yep, no problem. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, he didn't want to give you his information. All he this wanted to give me was his first that's little, name. That's uh, the white male with the mustache? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he said he said he was he felt um, threatened that somebody was gonna do something to him, it's so, like stalk him or something. It didn't help none. Did I you, you didn't tell him who I was. No. By the way, I give major credit to uh, Cobb County Girl, uh, a YouTube channel, who uh, created this video and, and got the body cam footage. So apparently this is an elected official. This is a guy who was off duty. He's Sheriff Craig Owens. He's up for re-election in the same county that Biden won handily back in 2020, another liberal-run uh, county and district. And you heard him at the end there, he says, you didn't tell him who I was, did you? So let me get this right, uh, Sheriff Craig Owens. So the next time that I go to a fast food restaurant, a Burger King, or any restaurant for that matter, and I don't get it my way and they mess up my order, they didn't put enough mayo on there, they didn't get the right uh, uh, size french fries or size drink, I can call the police, deputies, have them race through traffic like it's a major emergency, like somebody is fighting for their lives, endangering God knows how many people, causing panic and stress to God knows how many taxpaying residents to come help me with my Burger King order? A am I getting this right? I mean, are, do you guys, does this make sense to anybody? This is absolute insane. This video needs to go viral. Tap the thumbs up. It doesn't cost you a thing. It's free because when you tap the thumbs up, it sends a signal to the algorithm to push this out to more people. I've never seen anything like this. I've never seen a bigger abuse of power in my entire life. I am with Burger King. I'm with the staff. I'm with the, I'm on the side of the assistant manager. I would have locked the store too. I'm sure the actions of this insanely corrupt and deviant sheriff that was not caught on camera. I'm sure this guy threatened. He probably made violent threats. He probably uh, acted a fool. God knows the things that he said and did before the actual cameras turned on from the body cam footage. He acted all calm and cool because he knew it was being recorded, but he made a very, very, what I think is a grave error, and it's a self-admission of guilt, by at the end of that body cam footage saying, you didn't tell him who I was, did you, with a guilty smile on his face. The man running for chief deputy with him is a Mike Dondinglinger. I'm probably uh, spelling that route. He says, quote, I think it's an abuse of power. He said it's a form of intimidation and a waste of resources. Quote, I'm shocked the sheriff feels so flippant about this issue that he would have deputies run lights and sirens placing citizens at risk and his deputies at risk just so he could get information from a business owner that clearly could have been followed up another day. This is what Owen said, quote, I was not in my uniform. At no point in my interaction with the staff did I identify myself as a member of the law enforcement community. At no point did I indicate my position, nor did I ask the responders to do anything they would not, had not, or have not done for anyone else who makes a business dispute call. He says the call is being politicized in an attempt to win votes. Quote, whether as a commander, sergeant major, or a major in the Cobb Police Department, or as a sheriff, I've always worked to build confidence and trust in leadership by calling the police on probably minimum wage workers just doing their job and over a complaint of a Burger King sandwich order? That's serving the community? 
To our citizens and residents, it is clear that I need to work harder, and I pledge to do so, Owen said. Oh, I would say that's an understatement. Ended with a list of accomplishments and an apology. Quote, anything that takes away from that mission is a distraction, and for that I am deeply sorry, Owen said. Voters like Farouk said they want more information on this race. This is on the w WSB TV uh, Channel 2 News. <laughs> Farouk says, she says, quote, if I don't get ketchup on my Whopper, do I get to call the police with sirens? Excellent question, Farouk. Don't listen to anything this troglodyte is saying because he is a lion-ass dog lying through his teeth. And I just pray that the surveillance footage from the actual Burger King comes out showing that I think this sheriff not only abused his power, not only committed a heinous criminal act by putting the lives of deputy citizens, resources, funds in jeopardy, uh, in a misuse of resources, I mean, a gross negligence of resources. But I'm sure if there's any camera footage from that actual restaurant, I'm, I can almost guarantee that there is footage of this sheriff acting like a petulant child and maybe, just maybe even, making and declaring violent threats. I throw this off to you guys. Uh, I'm just at my wit's end with Georgia. I don't know what to do with Georgia. It's just everything that comes out of that place, especially Cobb County and Fulton County, it's just disaster after disaster. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think down below. If I'm wrong, that's fine. As long as you propose something constructive and is you know engaged in critical thought and not personal ad hominem talks, no links, it's all going to go to spam. But if you have something constructive to say, please, I would love to hear from you. Check out these videos coming up on the screen right here. Subscribe and follow by tapping my face right there if you haven't already. In the show notes, pinned comment, and description is our free newsletter. Sign up for that. And as always, may God bless you and may God bless America. I'll see you soon.